on these trucks. We've got a 2020 108 SD chassis, okay? We've taken them and we've extended them out by about 30 inches on the wheelbase. What this allows us to do is our customer up in Canada is gonna put a wing plow on the right-hand side of the truck and a plow on the front of the truck. So as you can see, the front frame horns are extended as well. These are a 330 horsepower L9 Cummins with an Allison 3500 series transmission. That's a six speed. PTO driven, triple hydraulic pumps, single engine, okay? Um, still have the five yard net capacity. So usable capacity hopper on these, 60 inch wide elevator, 14 flights per elevator, okay? 140 inch sweet path on these, 60 inch wide main broom as well. does is it'll allow cost savings as well as chassis savings, uh, insurance savings, and maintenance savings ultimately for the company. One thing that we do sacrifice by having a longer chassis is a little bit of turning radius on these trucks. What we do not sacrifice on these trucks is horsepower and torque. We've got a 20,000 pound front axle under these to be able to handle the weight of the snow plow on the front of the truck as well as the wing plow on the side of the truck. If we jump inside the truck, which you can see, we made a little bit of a sacrifice. We don't have right hand steering. What you're gonna notice here, if you look up towards the top of the truck, is our extended tubes on our subframe, or our door paddle rack as we call it in the shop. What this allows our customer to do is to hang a DOT spec, actually Canadian DOT spec, reflective board off the back of the truck that also incorporates strobes and beacons for safety during the winter months when they're plowing with these trucks. So on our X brooms, we offer four different styles of main brooms. Number one would be a cable wrap main broom with stub shafts. Number two would be a tube core. Three would be a strip core. Four would be our standard wafer spacer core. On these particular trucks, what you're gonna find is a tube broom. Okay, so what we have is a compression core with a tube broom slide that slides over that compression core 